Hi everyone, this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabrics and I just wanted to stop in and show you guys how I do my granny squares um, and how I change colors. Now this is just my way. I find it personally to be easier but that's me. I will also have in the description um, a video that I found of a lady that changes colors another way. Well, actually, she does it several different ways. And you can watch that and see, you know, which way works better for you. So I will be starting off this granny square with a magic circle. Um, some people like to chain four and slip slip stitch to make the circle whatever you're more comfortable with. So with me, it is the magic circle, and then I chain three. Um, I won't go into the whole process of how to do a magic circle. This video is basically for someone who already know how to crochet. So I change three, and that's considered a double crochet. And then I do two more double crochet in the circle to make a total of three. Okay. And you can close the circle up a little bit. So after that first three double crochet cluster there, I changed two. And then do another three double crochets. And chain two. And then do another three double crochets. And each of those chain, chain two represents a corner. So we're trying to set that up. So right now I have two corners as you can see, it's already squared. And then it's time for another chain two. Sorry guys, my yarn, I didn't pull it from the middle, so yeah. <laughs> okay, another chain three. And then, I'm sorry, another three double crochet and then chain two. So now, as you can see, we have three corners. So now it's for the final corner. That's where I did the chain two. And then I slip stitch that in the third chain from this one. All right. All right, so we have that. So this, I think, is where I do things um, a little different than probably most videos we watch. Um for the um, granny square. So once I slip stitch, I go ahead and chain up three, okay? And that does represent a double crochet. And what I do is that I then go into the chain two right behind it, and then I do two double crochet, okay? So that represents a total of three double crochets. So I go back on that. And then I chain one. This is the only row where you will, um, this is the row where you will chain one. And then what you do is that you go into the next chain two space where the corner is. So every chain two space is considered a corner. And in that corner, you will do three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. Three. Okay, so we have that corner as a completed corner. And then in order to get to this other space, we will chain one. And then now we're back into a corner where we will do three double crochets. Chain two and then three double crochets. Okay, and then right after that, you do a chain. Okay, and then back into this corner we already are, and then we are doing a three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Okay, and then again, a chain one. All right, so now we're back in the corner that we started from. So we already have the three double crochet. 
so we need to complete that corner so we're going in and putting in another three double crochet and then chain two and then if you remember I did that chain one um, chain three starting and then I went back and double crochet in the space so here is that chain three right here and I'm just slip stitching right in the top of that so right now this is how our little granny square is looking like and I will do one more row of this before I change color so again we are starting with chain three and let me get enough yarn pulled here all right so we have chain three and then we go back one so I go ahead and go back into this chain two space there's one double crochet and there's a second double crochet so we have a total of three double crochets and then immediately after that we go ahead and chain one and then now that on this row and every other row from this point we have a space in between so in every space in between after we do the chain one we will do three double crochets into that space and then after that is a chain one to get us over to the corner um, stitch here so which is the chain two corner space and in there we always do a uh, three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and then after that is always chain one get us over to the space in between the um, corners and we always want to put three double crochets in that and then chain one get us over to the corner here and of course what we put there is three double crochet chain two and three double crochets and that just makes all of our corners nice and crisp and make sure it's not buckling and we are increasing the size so I did my chain one after that corner complete going right into the space here where I do a three double crochet okay chain one and then in the corner we are three double crochet oops chain two three double crochets and you guys know I do not edit my videos so what we see is what we get all mistakes and all <laughs> so after that corner we do a chain one and that takes us into this space where we do three double crochets chain one okay so we are back into a half completed corner here so we go into there and do three double crochets and then it should be chain two correct and then we go ahead and stitch it however we are changing colors so what I do is that I unravel to the point usually I would stop just before I create my chain two there and let me try to be what I usually do is I would estimate about two inches of length that I leave um at the end right where I cut it okay so I cut that I no longer have to measure it because I've done so many of these okay so I know that there's many ways to change colors but this is just my way um and this step I mean it seems like it's really slow right now because um you know slowing it up but this step for me is just much more faster and also it saves me weaving ends. Okay, so I tied the knot there. And then I will also include a video how to slow down tying the knot if you like. 
Okay. Okay, so now we're back on. We have the new yarn added, and then I go ahead and do the chain two. And then I slip stitch into the top of this first double crochet, okay? So now we have that new yarn, and we're just going as usual. We're doing the chain three, and then going back into the space, and doing two more double crochet, okay? So I'm going to speed up with this, because it's everything we already went through. All right. So we're just going along as normal um, until either you decide if you want to um, change colors again or if you want to end it and determine that's the size that you want for your granny square. It is totally up to you. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really early in the morning where I am. It is Sunday. And I do work today. So I am doing this video before I start my work day. I noticed that crochet has been <laughs> a major therapy during these crazy times. Because although the pandemic has slowed down, um, my brain is still in pandemic mode. So, yeah, life is, I don't think, ever going to be back to whatever normal was. So, I, crochet has been amazing. Crochet and a little bit of sewing have really helped me doing just pretty much any stressful time, to be honest with you. It's not even so much the pandemic, but... Just with work stress, sometimes it helps to crochet, sometimes even on my breaks or before I start work. Um, it really has helped me. And I guess sometimes people don't get that, but I'm sure a lot of crocheters understand that it makes a huge, huge difference. Oops. Okay, so we are coming to this end. And what I will go ahead is end this here, and I'm, I'll show you how I do my borders, which I think makes a huge difference when I put granny squares um, together. And this is how I do my border. Um, you might have another way. So I just completed with the two um, chains and then sing, um, slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet here. All right, so I have this. This is what I have right now. Looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, looks pretty straight, which is what I love about this particular method. That's why I continue to use it. And then what I do is I chain one, okay? Now, for my border, I use it is um, all single crochets. So I go in the back again. So this one first stitch is, I do consider that a single crochet. And I do apologize, I just fit. Um, that chain, I do not consider a single crochet. So then I go in and do two single crochets into the space, okay? And then I make sure, because sometimes this is a little hard to see, but we know that this right here is three stitches, right? cluster so we want to make sure we put three sing um single crochet on top of every chain in on top of every stitch rather yet and then in this space right here that was one chain so we put a single crochet there and then we just go on with a single crochet on top of the three clusters we want three single crochets and then in the space we want a single crochet as well so we will just, oh, there's a knot in the yarn. I would just trim it up a little bit. And then we will just go in and do single crochet in every one of these. Putting a single crochet in the space, don't forget that. And then doing single crochet in every one of this right here, which is just before the chain two space, the corner space. Now in the corner space, I do a two single crochet and then I do the chain two and then two single crochet. 
I think that just makes my corner more defined when I put them together. So that's what I do with that. And then right after the corner here, after I did my two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet, I put in a single crochet in each of these, which is three, and then one in between the space, and then just proceed with three single crochets, and then one between the space. So I do all stitches, single crochet all the way, but one, and then I'm back into the corner here where I do two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Okay, and then I go around again. And of course, guys, this is my way. Who knows how long that may be. I may find a way that's better. <laughs> it may change. You might have a better way that works for you. Um, but this with my first official blanket, this is the method I used. Back in the corner here two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Then on my way around again, a single crochet in every stitch, and a single crochet between the chain one space there. And that just makes this square, and when you complete it to put it together for anything, it is really, really nice and square okay so now we at the corner where I already did the two single crochets um, before so now I'm just adding two more single crochets and then chain two and then slip stitching on top of that first single crochet okay so this is what we have guys this is how it looks like um, I really really like it if you end up doing another row of because sometimes people will especially with mine crush my um like this one this is the one I had completed so with these I um, ended up doing a single crochet in the color of the project and then did another single crochet in the color of the border. So if you're doing two of those, that's perfectly fine. You would just follow the method of doing single crochets until you get to that chain two space and then making a corner of two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets, just to make it perfectly straight. So that is it there, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I will include another video on how um, another alternative in changing colors if the process of the tying does not work. And, you know, actually, let me show you guys... Um, with the tying of the yarn, what exactly? I, let me do that a little slower so I don't have to include yet another video. So, with the yarn, um, with the um, tying of the yarn, this is what I, this is how I learned it. I learned it on YouTube. You go ahead, let me put this aside. So, this is two yarn ends that I want to tie together, for example. So, I take the blue one first. And I wrap it around the other color, just a normal knot, right? Just a normal knot. And then I'm tying it. That's it, okay? And I laid that back down. So now with this one, the colorful yarn, I'm taking it over here and I'm tying it over the blue. Okay, tying that again, just a normal knot. So this is what we have right now with two knots. And then I just hold both of the ends to the blue and the colorful one and just pull it together. Okay? And just pull it together kind of tight. Don't break the yarn. And then you just cut it. And that is how I tie my yarn. Okay? Thank you, guys. Everyone have a great morning, and I'll talk to you guys later.